Hello everybody, this is Talon, and welcome to the next installment in my nutritional tier list series, where I'm going to be breaking down all the most commonly eaten options in any given food group and ranking them based on how nutritious they are and how good they are for your health. Today I'm going over nuts. Nuts are like the red-headed stepchild of the fruit and vegetable world because no food group ever really seems to want to claim them, and they seem to be constantly having an identity crisis. In fact, only three of the items on this list are actually botanically considered nuts, but I'm not going to tell you which ones. The rest of them are all droops, seeds, and legumes that band together like the misfits in a found family action movie as they try to find a way to peacefully coexist. And just like in those movies, this collection of unwanted oddballs is just what the doctor ordered. Nuts are so nutrient-dense, it's kind of unfair. Most of them are very highly caloric, mainly due to most of them having a really high concentration of fats. This in turn makes them very filling and often considered a good snack. Nuts also usually provide more protein than most plant-based sources, and are among the most nutritious food groups in regards to fibers and certain micronutrients like vitamin B1, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. So to save time, I'm only going to point these out when there's something special related to them. That being said, if you see nutrients on here that you don't recognize, I have a video going over all of them that I'll link right here. Looking at the tiers for this video, we're going to be comparing the nutritional benefits of each nut against any health risks or shortcomings that they may have. Like I said, nuts are really healthy. I had to grade them pretty hard so they don't all just end up in the A tier. All nutritional information will be based on 100 grams of the individual food, both across this video and this series for the sake of consistency and ease of comparison. However, with nuts being so highly caloric, the recommended intake is way less than that. The FDA's recommended serving size for all the nuts on this list is about 1 ounce or 28 grams, and once I show you the numbers, you'll see why. Also, assume that all this is based on the nuts being cooked or roasted and unsalted. One last thing, if you enjoy these tier lists, or at the very least find them helpful, I encourage you to subscribe because there's plenty more on the way. And let me know what your favorite nut is, and which ones you've never heard of before this video down in the comments below. From what I can tell, a lot of y'all have been going nuts waiting for this one, so without further ado, let's get to the list. First up, we have acorns. Now, Scrat's eternal love might not be the first thing that pops into your head when you think edible nuts, and for good reason, but they actually have a good amount going for them. They're one of the lowest caloried nuts on this list, uniquely having a higher carb-to-fat ratio than most everything else. They're also a decent source of micronutrients. Where acorns really shine, though, is their fiber content, which contributes greatly to the regulation of the digestive process. Additionally, they're also one of the best nut sources of vitamin B6, which maintains amino acid levels and a strong immune system, and folate, which helps form DNA and RNA. Acorns are shown to improve gut health and are a good source of certain antioxidants, including vitamin A, vitamin E, gallic acid, and elagic acid, all of which help combat damage caused by free radicals. Also, acorns uniquely seem to be one of the very few items on this list that don't typically give people with tree nut allergies problems. However, in my opinion, all of this pales in comparison to the one real problem that acorns have. Tannins. Tannins are a group of bitter plant compounds and are known as what's called an antinutrient, meaning they're shown to reduce the body's ability to absorb nutrients. They've also been shown to potentially lead to liver damage or cancer. In order to get rid of tannins, it's recommended that you leach your acorns first. Once they've gone through the leaching process, acorns are actually pretty safe for consumption. However, nutritionally, they're fairly unspectacular compared to the rest of the nuts, and they're going to start this list off toward the bottom in the D tier mainly just for being such a pain in the acorn to prepare. Almonds are a mid-caloried and higher-protein nut with an impressive collection of micronutrients. They're among the best sources of fiber on this list, which regulates the digestive process. Almonds are very high in vitamin E, one of the best sources in the world, and vitamin E has antioxidant properties and is shown to lower the risks of heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and certain cancers. It's also easily the best source of vitamin B2 on this list, which is used to help convert carbohydrates into fuel, and is the best source of calcium on this list as well, which is shown to improve bone health. It's also a great source of magnesium, which regulates muscle and nerve function and aids in protein, bone, and DNA synthesis, and manganese, which helps the formation of bones, connective tissue, and certain hormones. Almonds are shown to be heart healthy, lowering LDL levels and the risk of heart-related illnesses, and they're shown to regulate blood pressure and blood sugar. Now, almonds contain some phytic acid, an anti-nutrient that is shown to impair absorption of certain minerals like iron, zinc, and calcium, and oxalates, which impairs calcium absorption and may lead to kidney stones. And if you're allergic to tree nuts, you're going to want to pass on the almonds. Almonds are, in a lot of ways, the perfect nut nutritionally, so I'll be placing them in the top tier when they're eaten in moderation. 
Brazil nuts fall somewhere in the middle in regards to calories and most macronutrients, the two exceptions being that they're the highest in saturated fat and the lowest in carbohydrates on this list. Brazil nuts also pack a solid micronutrition profile with one main outlier, selenium. Selenium is a mineral with antioxidant properties that helps protect against cell damage and helps make DNA. Selenium is normally found in animal products, but if you go back to look at our meat tier list, you'll find that Brazil nuts provide over 20 times the amount per gram than the highest supplier in that video, canned tuna, making them one of the best sources on the planet. Brazil nuts are also the best source of phosphorus on this list, which is needed for bodily growth, repair, and the production of DNA and RNA. They're also the best source of magnesium on this list, which regulates muscle and nerve function and aids in protein, bone, and DNA creation. And they're also among the best sources of copper on this list, which aids in iron absorption, which is needed for oxygen transfer. And rounding out the notable micronutrients is vitamin B1, which helps the body generate energy from nutrients. Brazil nuts are also rich in antioxidants like gallic acid and elagic acid, which is shown to have protective and antidepressant effects on the brain. Brazil nuts are shown to be a net positive for heart health thanks to healthy fatty acids, and they're shown to have an anti-inflammatory effect and support thyroid health and function. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, as Brazil nuts do contain phytic acid, which has been labeled as an anti-nutrient due to it impairing the body's ability to absorb certain minerals like iron, zinc, and calcium and oxalates, which in excess has been shown to lead to kidney stones. But also, too much selenium has been known to lead to selenosis, which can cause breathing problems and heart and kidney complications. And of course, if you have tree nut allergies, this one's a no-go. Brazil nuts are a very nutritious choice with some potential drawbacks in excess. I'm going to be placing them in the B tier. Cashews are a mid-calorie nut and about average among nuts in regards to everything related to macronutrition. However, they excel micronutritionally in a few ways. They're the best source of copper on this list, which aids in iron absorption and assists in its functions as well as being good for bone health. And to go along with that, it's the best source of iron on this list, which is mainly used for hemoglobin and myoglobin creation, which functions in oxygen transfer. Cashews are also rich in vitamin K, which is needed for blood clotting, bone building, and the making of various proteins and zinc, which is mainly used in DNA creation and maintaining a healthy immune system. Cashews are also among the best nut sources for magnesium, phosphorus, and vitamin B5. They're a rich source of antioxidants, mainly polyphenols and carotenoids, especially when roasted, which seems to give them a stronger antioxidant effect. Lastly, cashews are also shown to be very heart-healthy due to their fatty acids. Now, cashews do contain phytic acid and oxalates in varying amounts. They'll also cause issues for people with tree nut allergies. Overall, cashews are a very nutritious and healthy nut, and I feel they best belong in the A tier. Eastern chestnuts are very low-calorie, low-protein, and low-fat for nuts, and uniquely derives most of its calories from carbohydrates, including having the highest concentration of sugar on this list, about 10.6 grams. Micronutritionally, it's somewhat unique, but not all that impressive. The main thing that sets it apart is that it's the best source of vitamin C on this list. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect your cells against the effects of free radicals, and they're a mild source of manganese, copper, and vitamin B6. It also contains elagic acid and gallic acid, which have antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer properties. Unfortunately, raw chestnuts contain tannins, which could cause stomach irritation, nausea, or liver damage. It's recommended to use a similar method to rid of them as you did with the acorns. Chestnuts also contain oxalates and will give people with tree nut allergies issues. While chestnuts are fairly unspectacular nutritionally, at least they offer something unique. I'm going to be putting them in the C tier. Hazelnuts are a middle-of-the-road nut calorically and in regards to macronutrients, but are quite impressive in regards to micronutrients. Its main selling point is its high concentration of monounsaturated fats, which are shown to have heart health benefits. It's also one of the best sources of manganese, which helps the formation of bones, connective tissue, and certain hormones. Hazelnuts are also a great source of vitamin E, which has antioxidant properties and protects against chronic diseases. And it's among the best sources of vitamin B6, folate, and copper. Hazelnuts are loaded with antioxidants, mainly phenolic compounds which are shown to reduce blood cholesterol and inflammation. Hazelnuts are also shown to improve insulin sensitivity and have anti-cancer effects. Now, hazelnuts do contain a fair amount of oxalates, and you should be wary of them if you have tree nut allergies. But overall, hazelnuts are a great food and will land safely in the A tier on this list. Macadamia nuts are the highest calorie and fattiest nut on this list, and are a good source of certain micronutrients. 
They're easily the highest in monounsaturated fats that are shown to be beneficial for heart health. Macadamia nuts are among the best sources on this list of vitamin B1, which helps the body generate energy from nutrients, and they're also a great source of manganese. They are high in antioxidants that neutralize free radicals, including flavonoids that fight inflammation and lower cholesterol, and tocotrienols, which are shown to protect against cancer and brain diseases. Macadamia nuts are also linked with lower blood pressure and blood sugar levels. They do tend to give people with tree nut allergies problems, but the main thing with macadamia nuts is that they're really highly caloric relative to its nutritional output. I feel they're best as a B-tier nut. Peanuts are a mid calorie nut with the highest protein content on this list. They also have a solid micronutrient profile. They're the best source of vitamin B3 on this list, which is used in carbohydrate conversion, metabolism, and nervous system function. It's also the best source of folate, which helps form DNA and RNA and is used in protein metabolism. Peanuts are also a good source of manganese and magnesium. They have a good amount of antioxidants, mainly resveratrol, which helps with arthritis and chronic diseases, and isoflavones, which have anti antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Peanuts are also shown to improve heart health and maintain normal blood sugar levels. Now this all sounds really good, but peanuts are probably the one item on this list with the most things that you need to keep an eye on. First is peanut allergies, and if you have it, you know it. What you might not have known is that peanuts are so uniquely threatening to these individuals because of the proteins. And while being allergic to peanuts does not inherently make you allergic to tree nuts and vice versa, studies show that about 30-40% to of the time that is the case. Peanuts also contain the anti-nutrients phytic acid and oxalates, and seem to develop aflatoxin poisoning produced by mold more commonly than other nuts, usually when stored in a damp environment. Overall, peanuts are a fine choice to snack on with some serious benefits and some serious things to watch out for. I feel they're best suited for the B tier with a solid argument for an A tier placement. Pecans are a higher calorie and higher fat nut with a decent micronutrient profile. Their monounsaturated fats are linked with improved heart health. Pecans are also a really good source of manganese, copper, and zinc. They contain a good amount of antioxidants, mainly flavonoids, and pecans are shown to regulate blood sugar, reduce inflammation, and help prevent mental decline. Now, pecans do contain the anti-nutrient phytic acid, and you should be wary of them if you have tree nut allergies. But overall, pecans are a solid nut deserving of the B-tier status. Pine nuts are an average nut when it comes to calories and macronutrition, but they have one of the more impressive micronutrition showings on this list. They're the best source of manganese on this list, which is used in the formation of bones, connective tissue, and certain hormones. They're also the best source of zinc, which is needed for DNA creation and the maintenance of a healthy immune system. They're the best source of vitamin K as well, which is used for blood clotting, bone building, and making proteins. They're also a good source of phosphorus, iron, and vitamin E. Pine nuts are shown to lower LDL levels and promote heart health, and they're also shown to boost brain health. Now, pine nuts do contain varying amounts of phytic acid and oxalates, and they should be avoided if you have tree nut allergies. But overall, pine nuts are really nutritious and have safely earned themselves a place in the A tier. Pistachios are an average calorie nuts, but are higher in protein and fiber than most. They're also a solid source of key micronutrients. Pistachios are the best source of vitamin B6 on this list, which maintains amino acid levels and a strong immune system. They're also the best source of vitamin B1, which helps the body generate energy from nutrients, and potassium, which helps maintain normal fluid levels in the body's cells. Pistachios are also high in antioxidants, including lutein and zeaxanthin, which help preserve eye health, as well as polyphenols and tocopherols. Pistachios are also shown to promote healthy gut bacteria and blood vessel health, aiding in vasodilation. Pistachios do contain phytic acid, which somewhat inhibits the absorption of certain minerals, and you should steer clear of pistachios if you have tree nut allergies. But overall, pistachios are a great and healthy nut with a unique nutritional profile, and they will land safely in the A tier. Last on our list is walnuts. Walnuts are an average nut calorically and in all ways involving macros with the exception of having the highest concentration of polyunsaturated fats. This being because walnuts are the only item on this list with a notable concentration of omega-3 fatty acids, about 9100 milligrams per 100 grams, which is about seven times as much as in salmon, the previous highest covered on this series. 
Omega-3s are shown to raise HDL levels, decrease inflammation, maintain blood pressure, improve artery function, and aid in hormone creation. Walnuts are also a great source of manganese and a good source of copper, vitamin B6, and folate relative to other nuts. The other thing that stands out about walnuts is that they have the highest antioxidant activity on this list. Mainly polyphenols, but also melatonin, which is mainly shown to aid with sleep regulation. Walnuts are also shown to decrease inflammation, promote a healthy gut, reduce blood pressure levels, and maintain brain function. Walnuts do contain a fair amount of oxalates and a varying amount of phytic acid, and once again should be avoided if you have tree nut allergies. But all these are so outshined by the benefits that walnuts provide, and therefore they're going to round out our list in the top tier. Looking at the list, I feel it's important to mention nuts as a whole are very healthy and nutritious. Barring any allergy concerns, any nut I placed in the B tier or above is just about the ideal snack. And if you have any gaps in regards to your nutrition, there's a solid chance that a nut could fill that role. Nuts are, gram for gram, pretty much the most nutritious food group out there. And while you shouldn't eat too many of them, nuts do seem to be universally agreed upon to be a boon to any diet. Now if you enjoyed the video, or at the very least learned a little something, I encourage you to subscribe and come back because there's plenty more of these on the way. Also leave down in the comments which food group you think I should cover next. And remember that all I ask is that you do your own research and advocate for your own body. After all, you only get the one.